Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. This is the first video of 2020. I'm pretty excited about the new year. I've got a lot of stuff I want to get done this year. So today it's actually like 30 degrees right now and the wind chills a little below 20. So not fun time to be outside because I was getting used to the 60 degree weather that we were having for the last week or so. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, Anyway, today, I know I've mentioned this in previous videos, but um, it's time to put the bull in with the heifers. And, well, put the bull in with my heifers. The bull is currently in with my dad, and they should all be bred. And the ones that aren't bred, we don't want to keep them anyway, because if, if they aren't getting bred in three months, they're not ones we want to keep as cattle. So, so anyway, uh, what we're going to try to do today uh, my dad's heifers, they, those are no longer getting grain, they're done. And since we just took them off of grain, I'm going to try to entice them with grain still and get the bull close enough to the gate where I can push him out, get him out, and put him in with mine. But, so I'll be putting the black Angus in with my heifers. A um, couple reasons. Number one is, as you know, my heifers are half dairy, half Holstein mostly. And if I put the Hereford on my dairy heifers, they're gonna have more white on them than I'd like. So just to keep them solid black and bring more per pound at market, um, I'm using a solid black bull, black Angus, homozygous black Angus. So all of his calves should for sure be solid black. Should be. Most of my heifers are black. There's a few with white spots or a little white on their face, things like that. But for the most part, calves should all be black. Reason number two is our other Hereford bull that's in with the heifers, we're gonna kick him out with the cow group and try to clean up in there, whatever the other three bulls didn't get done. So um, so that's where he's going, which leaves us with only one heifer bull. I was gonna buy a new bull, but at this point, it makes more sense to just use my dad's for free, since he'll just be eating hay in the bull lot if we don't use him right now. So the black Angus is gonna get a second chance. He was getting pretty tired. He wasn't doing much breeding by the end. That's why we threw the Hereford in there, because we were seeing three or four heifers in heat in a day, and he didn't want anything to do with them. He'd rather just sit there and eat grass and eat hay. So um, so he's kind of had a break. Now that the herfer's been in there, he hasn't been able to do any breeding. And I've been seeing him try, which is better than what he was doing. So um, anyway, that's why we're using the black Angus. Give him a second chance, and also so I can get solid black calves. I'm going to give them some grain just so I can leave the gate open while they're eating and then try to get the bull from over there, bring him in through the gate and see how this goes. Hey, what are you doing? These do make good hand warmers. They'll keep you nice and warm. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Hey. So these are my heifers here. Um, as you can see, like these three, these should all be able to get bred. They're all good size. These two questionable. This one should get bred. That's the sick one that I shot, had to shoot with the dart gun uh, a long time ago in the summer. And she won't get bred, she's too small. But the rest of them honestly are pretty good sized. And like I said, if only five of them get bred, I'll only keep five and sell the rest. If all, well, if 17 out of 18 get bred, I guess I'll keep 17. But that little one over there that had pneumonia that's small, she's definitely going to town. So, and I know she won't be getting bred anyway, so she's too small. And that white face there, she's almost too big for me. I don't want a huge cow and she's gonna be huge. So I may be selling her as well, but 
like I said, I'll be selling bread heifers if I sell any um, besides that sick one over there. So anyway, now I'm gonna try to get the bull in here. We'll see how this goes. That solid black one there is the one I want. Got the ranger here. Um, I'm going to open this gate up here. And I'm going to shut this one to keep these from funneling in. And usually it's the bull that always walks up to the ranger, so uh, we're gonna try it here. Still checking them out, so that's good. just really screwed up there. Now I probably won't get them separated the way I wanted to. So this might come in handy here in a bit. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Hey. Hey. Here up. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey.
excited there. Yeah, I just went for grain. That's no fun. Anyway, all these heifers here are smelling them a little bit. Those should be getting bread, not Same with you. Same with you. She was smelling a little bit. I know the oldest one, the first heifer I got in the last year was, she was in heat a couple days ago. It would have been nice to put the bull in with her then. So I'm back where we started in the barn because it's way too windy out and I know you guys probably can't hear a thing when I'm outside. Now that the bull is in there, a couple of them should start coming to heat pretty soon. We will see how that all goes. I will go out there, check in the morning and evening, see if there's any in heat. That tends to be the most common times that there's one in heat. And uh, I'll write it down in the calendar, which ones are in heat, which ones I saw get bred. And then I will check during that time the next month and see if they come in heat again. So. Um, I'm going to see which ones actually get bred and when they do so I can know whenever, whenever they're going to calve. So obviously I'm putting the bull in on January 1st, which is later than we'd like to for fall calves, but um, the first ones, if they get bred in January, they'll be calving in September, which is not too late. And September and October are still okay around here. We don't have bad weather, but November and December, it can sometimes get pretty gross. So I may leave the bull in for three months, but right now I'm probably just going to leave it in two. So. Um, the ones that are cycling right now, that'll give them two chances to get bred, and hopefully they get bred on that since they are still getting grain. So we will see his first calves on the ground here in February. That's when they will start. We put them in with 15 heifers, and one of the heifers in heat the other day, so I know she is a bred. She'll be going to town. But yeah, we'll have 14, 14 of his calves on the ground here in February, so we can see how they look, and hopefully, hopefully they're all going to be good calves because we bred a lot of heifers to him by now and if mine all get bred to him that'll be even more so anyway like i said uh, i can't show any actual animal breeding on youtube anymore so got in trouble for that don't want to get in trouble again so that's why you didn't see anything like you did in the last video whenever i put them out there but that's all i got for now guys hope you guys all have a really good start to your new year with that being said thank you for watching i will see you all next time